Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is a book that I usually do every year when it's getting close to be the end of the school year. And I will have to say this is probably one of my most favorite books to do because I won't, can't wait for you to see these bright, beautiful pictures that has been put into this book. And it's called Little Rooster's Diamond Button. And it's retold. It's an old story. It's retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald. And it's illustrated by Will Terry. And I will have to say, Will Terry did a fantastic job on this book. And it's published by Albert Whitman and Company out of Morton Grove, Illinois. Are you ready? Because this is a fun book. Normally the students just love it. Little Rooster's Diamond Button. I want you to look at that picture. Isn't that gorgeous? It says, Somewhere. Someplace across the seven seas, there lived a little old woman and her little pet rooster. Oh, look at it. And one day, little rooster went out to peck something to eat. And he pecked and he pecked and he pecked. And he pecked up a diamond button. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And you know how roosters talk? He goes, cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo. I'll take this home to my good mistress. She likes diamond buttons. And there you can see the little rooster's got the diamond button in his mouth and he's headed back home. But here comes the king with his servants. Okay. And the king, he wore such baggy trousers that he could hardly walk. And when the king saw that diamond button, oh, he wanted it. Greedy king, wasn't he? He said, take that diamond button and Put it in my treasure chamber. <gasps> oh no. Look there, they took the diamond button away from the little rooster. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? Mm. Well, you know what the little rooster did? He flew right over to that king's palace and he told him, he said, Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Give me back my diamond button. Oh, that made the king mad. He said, take that little rooster and throw him into the well. Get rid of him. So, they took little rooster and they threw him down the well. Oh, there's something I forgot to tell you about little rooster he has a magic stomach mm -hmm. and he told his little magic stomach he says come my empty stomach come my empty stomach drink up all the water in the well and his magic stomach went and took up all of the water that was in the well. Mm -hmm. That would be a cool trick, wouldn't it? Look at him. There's all the water going in. And then, little rooster flew out of that well, and he flew right back to that king's palace, and he told him, he says, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Give me back my diamond button. Oh, that made that king angry. He said, take that little rooster and throw him into the fire. Get rid of him. But 
you know what little rooster did? Mm -hmm. Little rooster just called out and told his magic stomach. He says, come my full stomach, come my full stomach. Spit out all the water in the well and put out the fire. <gasps> oh, look, there's all that water coming out. It's going to put out the fire. Well, when the little rooster had put out all the fire, little rooster flew right back over to that king's palace and he told him, he says, cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo, give me back my diamond butt. Well, the king became furious. That means he's really, really mad. He said, take that little rooster and throw him into a beehive. Ooh. He said, let the bees sting him. Mm -hmm. But, you know what happens now? Little Rooster says, Come, my empty stomach, come, my empty stomach, eat up all the bees. Ooh, looky there. And his stomach took up all of the bees. Bzzz. And the bees, because he had a magic stomach, the bees could not sting that magic stomach. Oh. What a cool trick that would be. Well then, little rooster, he flew right back over to that king's palace and he told him, he says, cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo, give me back my diamond button. Well, that made the king infuriated. Looky there, how red in the face he got. He was so mad. He told his servants, he says, what should I do with this little rooster? One of the servants said, hang him up from a tree. And the second servant said, toss him out the window. But the third st servant says, hmm, why don't you sit on him and squash him? Mm-hmm. Now there's an idea. And the king goes, oh, I like that idea. He says, drop him into my baggy pants. I am going to sit on him. So they dropped little rooster down the king's baggy pants. And the king started to sit on him. I bet you can guess what happens next, right? Little rooster called out. He says, come my full stomach, come my full stomach, spit out all the bees and he let them he says and let them sting the king oh ooh. <laughs> looky there and the king's going ay 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 oh wow wow those bees sure did sting he says take that little rooster away he said let him have his old diamond button I never want to see him again. <laughs> so they took Little Rooster over to the king's treasure chamber and they told him, they says, take your diamond button and go home. And then they left. They left Little Rooster in the king's treasure chamber all by himself. So, Little Rooster's looking around. He said, oh, so this is the treasure that the king has been stealing from my village all of these years, said Little Rooster. He goes, hmm, well then, can you guess what's going to happen next? Look at all that treasure. Little Rooster just says, hmm, 
Come, my empty stomach. Come, my empty stomach. Eat up all the treasure in the king's treasure chamber. And his little stomach started taking all of the treasure. And it took all the rubies and the emeralds and the gold and the silver and the diamonds and ah, the diamond button. And then, you know what happened? The little rooster went home. Uh-huh. He did. And when he got home, he said, Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. Come, my full stomach, come, my full stomach. Spit out all the treasure. And you know what? There was treasure enough for all of the village. And little rooster and his little good mistress lived richly and happily ever after. Whoa. The end. I hope you enjoyed that little story from about Little Rooster's Diamond Button. It is one of my favorites. And I want you to make sure you tune in tomorrow and watch Miss Carmen with her Storytime Cooks. And on Thursday, we have... Mindy Hall, that's going to be our visiting storyteller this Thursday at 1030, so we want you to join in for that one. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week, and we will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.